Hi everyone, Stockmo here. Today's video is for entertainment purposes only, and you might even see cattails and other things popping up. We're gonna get into this GameStop and AMC, BlackBerry, everything's blowing up, but is there another short out there that could happen if things go right? And that's what I'm gonna discuss a little bit today and just go over some of the other stocks and EVs. I should say, take a look at Tesla getting crushed today. And of course, a quick look at Ethereum popping. Stick around, I think you're gonna like what I got for you. If you're new to the channel, I'm Stock Mo. All I ever ask, hit that subscribe button, become part of the community here. We have a positive place. And on top of that, I'm an old financial advisor and teacher, high school and college level classes, investing, finance, crypto. I'm just gonna be here to try to help you out. You hit the bell and the notification, you know, hit the notifications all, as well as that thumbs up, you'd be doing me a favor. I do have a link down below to my Patreon, check that out. And you can come on over, see all my portfolios. I share when I buy and sell, crypto stocks, you name it. And we have a private Discord, thousands of members. I even got to watch somebody make a million dollars, over a million dollars on AMC yesterday in my thing, which was fantastic. I love seeing it. You can come over and be a part of that. Of course, I do have a link down below to Weeble. Get two free stocks for putting $100 in here right now. And you will get a shot at $1,850 for doing that. But you get guaranteed two stocks. I get one because I'm an affiliate. You're helping me out that way. We both win. And you never know what you're going to get. And I do have the BlockFi link down below. They're giving you 250 up to 250 dollars in free bitcoin for uh, certain deposits and you get paid interest on your crypto over there so you want to come over and see which ones are paying there i know some of them are up to over nine percent so highly recommend that if you have it just sit in other places and you're not getting paid for it you're missing the boat and and that is it let's get into it what is going on out there right now in the world of stocks i have this uh, we're doing this in the middle of the trading day today. And you can see the Dow Jones is kind of flat, S&P down a little bit, and the NASDAQ got hammered. Now, I was afraid of this, and we actually talked about this over at the Patreon, I, and we were in the Discord, and we were chatting about it. I said, hey, do you see any fears of the AMC stock price moving all over the place, other ones coming in, GameStop, BlackBerry. What do you see with this? Is that gonna create, like we saw last time, the market starting to drop because of all the volatility, and I was afraid that that might happen. We did see that today with the Russell and the NASDAQ dropping a little bit. Not too bad compared to what happened then, but we're not done yet, so I'll be, I'll be watching. I actually thought we'd see Neo Green today after yesterday. But I think because of all of the turmoil going on out there, some people just uneasy, I think they're sitting back and just watching. But you can see Tesla got hammered today, down 26, 4.4. DraftKings down 2.45. NEO hanging on there, 0.26. I still feel fantastic about my NEO stock price prediction. It should do very well moving up to that $60 range by the end of this year. Churchill Capital, I did want to show you this before we get into Churchill Capital. I wanted to show you this little comment down here. And this, this was interesting. It's right on the front page. Move over AMC with a short interest of 18.83%. And I have brought this up multiple times in my videos that uh, in, a, in a days to cover ratio 2.44 Churchill Capital is primed for a short squeeze ahead of its merger with Lucid Motors. I've been saying people have been piling into CCIV to short it to the point that it's setting itself up for a short squeeze. We might just see that if that becomes a target. We never know. So I am, I would love to see that because I'm way in that. But that would show you uh, another opportunity out there. Again, when people always say, hey, well, how do you find out which, which ones can be shorted? You can go out and just look up things like this and you'll see articles out there talking about possible candidates and we'll get into it. So Churchill Capital, as we take a look at it right now, you can see that that did not help them because they are actually still down 1.91% with all the other EVs. I shouldn't say all of them because some of them are up, uh, but this is what you're looking at. But over the last month though you can see that ccv or lucid is still up 33 percent so if you've been riding this just know this isn't a a total oh it's going back down to nothing it's a rough day in the market and we saw that from the opening bell uh, next thing we got here is amc as we get into amc here today was interesting it started out i wasn't sure how it was going to go i did uh, somebody asked me what i thought would happen today I thought maybe it would drop down. I have no holdings in AMC, uh, except them two little shares I got for free, and now they are just sitting there. So with that being said, I have a ton of Churchill Capital, but AMC, 
I'm watching with a, a, a can of popcorn, just sitting back, enjoying it, and seeing what's happening. But if you watch AMC right now, and I'm gonna give you some, some looks at some things here, down 39%. One thing I could guarantee, and I can guarantee it for tomorrow, is there's gonna be volatility, a ton of it. So you see it drop 39% down, and then at this point, if you jump back in, if you were able to time at that point, you are now up 51%. So there is money to be made by you swing traders out there looking for ups, looking for downs, but boy, timing this is tough. You're catching a knife here, uh, even here, you could, look at this. Uh, it, this is considered a bear market for the stock. And then as soon as you go up 20%, you are looking at another bull run for the stock. That happened. Then once you go down another 20%, you're in the bear market again. You're back in the bull market. And I think from a top down, we are now not quite 20, but you see my point here. But I uh, would have thought that this would have finished under yesterday's closing price just based on what I saw with GameStop when it peaked out. And the question was, did it peak out after the opening? You kind of could tell it peaked out, but you just didn't know where this was gonna go. And if the, if the retailers, uh, you can't just think it's just retail investors at this point. The hedge funds are all watching. They're probably piling in as well. Ones that are shorting, ones that are long, and then you got the retail investors jumping in. It's just crazy out there right now. And so there is millions, or I should say million, billions being made and lost all over on the shorts and the longs. But somebody did ask me, where do you see this going? And you can see back here during the um, GameStop saga, it got up to 1990. This time it was all about them. And we're gonna compare that to GameStop right now. So once we get in here with GameStop, you will see over the year that GameStop got up there, had a pop on the 27th, came all the way back down a lot. And on the 28th, back up on the 29th, but could not retake that high. And then the next day, down, 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 down. So eventually once the short squeeze ends, you would expect to see uh, people taking their profits, of course. And so that's something I'm watching to wait because I want to learn from this and make sure that the next short squeeze, because there's going to be more. There's definitely, somebody said, do you think there's going to be more? <laughs> Absolutely. It could be, you know, once people start piling into these big name companies and start shorting them, you're going to see people out there saying, hey, let's take advantage of this. Let's cause a short squeeze. And they do. And they can make millions. Like I said, I got to watch somebody make a million dollars, over a million dollars. It was amazing. A lot of people ask me about my AMC stock price prediction i would think that you're going to get into a final few days you can look at am uh, gamestop here what happened over a two or three days maybe four you're going to see a lot of high prices and then eventually a sell-off and then who knows maybe another run at another short squeeze if people start piling back into short amc again that could happen and you can see what happened gamestop consistently moved higher so in in the long run i do think amc is going to look a lot more attractive to investors they raised a ton of money new announcements today big things happening for them the cherry slushy machine isn't going anywhere it's going to be there for me for me for a while for those who don't know i have an amc right down the street i love it i go there all the time so Big things happening, good things, and we'll see. Uh, Blackberry was another one I just wanted to bring up. You can see that one was up over the last five days, up 63%. Look at this for GameStop, five days, up 12%. The big one though, 206% on that so there are some big movers out there and we'll see how it ends i do want to end this video though as we get done talking about my amc stock price prediction i do see it coming back down after the next i'd say the short squeeze finishes up and then we'll see it moving but today i thought was a big calling point for that amc stock price if it rolled up it could double out of the gates push that squeeze then it really could have uh, manifested itself into more, but it did not, it actually dropped 25%. You had AMC talking about selling more shares. There was a lot of downward pressure there that kind of got in the way a little bit there. And so now we're, we are where we are and we'll take a look. Now, the other one though, I did want to talk about my Ethereum uh, price prediction. It is doing much better. The Ethereum price did pop up. If we actually look at the five days, and it was all the way down to 2,200 five days ago. That's what I tell people. They're like, hey, it's off its highs today. Look where it was just five days ago. And so for those wondering, that's a 25% gain. I'm still riding this. I'm hoping that we will see a breakout above 3,000. To me, that will signify a bull run. A lot of people are saying 2,900 as well. I'm all right, just get us up to that 3,000 mark. I'll feel really good, but this is already on a nice bull run. And if you wanna talk about volatility, 
your Ethereum is where to go for that. But in the long run, I see this hitting 10,000, hopefully by the end of next year. But I have a conservative view of 10,000 to 30,000 by 2025. So I'll keep buying through any down days, any red days and taking advantage of that price. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. It's been a crazy day. If we compare that to the Dogecoin price prediction out there, I put, I thought there was a chance depending on it, if Elon got involved, all that other stuff that you could see this with uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin popping. Uh, you could see Dogecoin getting up there close to a buck in the next few years. But if he does not get an active role and all it is is what it is now and the retail investors abandon it, you wouldn't see that happening. So we'll find out. But 90 something percent of my money, just so everyone knows, is in Ethereum. So if you're looking for what I'm doing, that's it. So that's what I got for you today. It has been a crazy day. I'm still watching with my popcorn. I'm enjoying this. And we'll find out how that AMC stock price run goes, that short squeeze with AMC. It's been crazy. Uh, take advantage of the free stocks down below from Weeble right now. It takes five minutes. You can get some money. You can put it into one of these meme stocks. You might get up to 1850 for putting that 100 bucks in there. And they got crypto over there. If you haven't gotten your 250 in free Bitcoin over at block by take advantage of that highly recommend that and they pay you interest on that free money plus the money you put in there if you have it in what uh, the different things pay different rates so it's highly recommend that as well and my patreon links down below come over and join us we're watching all this chatting like chatting up a storm it's good stuff i appreciate you stopping by let's get out there and make some money